Hi, my name is Yasuhimi Yogawa, PTL of Taka project. So it's a uh, project update of Taka in yoga. So I would like to introduce a project with highlights and next plans in that release. Taka is a VNF manager, generic VNF manager more specifically. VNF is for virtual network function and it is deployed as a dedicated network function as a component of complex network service system. There are several requirements of NFVs and NFV, VNF manager, such as durability, availability, or performance for realizing high qualified network services. For the purpose of providing carrier web network services, its NFV has contributed to define its standards. Top left diagram is an overview of relationship of entities in its NFV standards. TACA has developed originally as a set of NFV orchestrator and VNF manager. Both of them are responsible for managing VNF. Also, we have more comfort, uh, focusing more on VNF manager. VNF manager is the central part of the features of managing VNFs, managing life cycle of VNFs, for example, instantiate, terminate, or outfield them, or so. And the bottom right is an overview of implementation of Taka. It consists of two processes, Taka server and Taka conductor. Taka server behaves as an endpoint of API request for calling backend services. And Taka conductor is a uh, core of services. You can request Taka to deploy virtual machines or containers as VNFX on Taka and Kubernetes via its NFV standard APIs uh, by using Taka. So project background. So Taka was uh, founded during Grizzly release. We had uh, 19 contributors in yoga from several carriers and vendors, NTT, Fujitsu, NHC, KDD, and so on, as described in the diagrams. In addition to contributions for OpenStack, our team has developed relationship with standard groups. We are building uh, alliances with its NFA and uh, all our software community uh, communication for providing sophisticated software and its specifications for covering a uh, wide range services from legacy to the latest 5G. So here is a highlight of new features in Taka for yoga release. First one is multiple multi API support for its NFV specifications. Its NFV specifications have been developed for several years and had two major versions named as version one and version two. As a requirement from operators, both of versions should be supported because they have been running long lifetime services while introducing the latest services for users' demands. So, Taka has introduced multi-version mechanism and uh, implemented both of V1 and V2 APIs for supporting such a requirement. The APIs provide features for failure management, heal or ritual operation for high availability. It also provides a change current VNS package feature for rolling update. And second one is um, persistent volumes for Kubernetes cluster support with Tekka's uh, management driver. And next one is uh, March tenant policy management for operators for their deployment strategies. This feature enables users to separate resources such as beams, VNF packages, and virtualized network function lifecycle management interface uh, related to VNF management concerning uh, tenants. And uh, Ansible driver for configuration of VNF deployment. 
Tucker has provided a configuration of deployment by using a shell script called as a user data, but it's not enough for some more complex use cases. So this feature is to support such a use case with Ansible. And last one is uh, introduce robot framework and uh, uh, for automation test of its NFTC. It's an uh, automated testing framework defined in Etsy NFTC group for keeping high interoperability among components. These tests are run on Zool as a set of test scenarios of functional test. And finally, I'd like to show futures development plans for ZRIS. The future of uh, acceleration for VNF and CNF is for support uh, VNF using uh, hardware acceleration such as GPU, FPGA, ASIC. Uh, it's expected to be more important in 5G era. And next, uh, CNF outfitting with Prometheus is for enhancement of LCM operations for outfitting or auto scaling with Prometheus. And we are also going to provide high availability to Taka itself. So now Taka is deployed as a single entity and not considered recovering from failure without resulting by system D currently. This feature is for the recovering, introducing uh, some deployment options for a high availability, such as an uh, active standby or an active model. And last one is for improvement of test coverage for quality of our products. Yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching.